Well, could Cleveland become the next city to welcome a DORA or designated outdoor refreshment area city? City Council is expected to vote on this tonight on an ordinance that would bring the experience to the East 4th Street area. Our Kira Cotton joins us live. That's where she is right now, and uh, she'll tell us how this change could impact downtown. Hey, good evening, Jay. Restaurants and bars here in downtown Cleveland are still trying to recover from the pandemic. So the introduction of a designated outdoor refreshment area could be a game changer. And now this is a plan that has been in the works for over a year. Now tonight, Cleveland City Council is set to vote on whether or not to approve the application to bring the venture here to East 4th Street. And you may be wondering what exactly is a door and how does it work? Well, it's quite simple. A door is a designated outdoor refreshment area where guests can purchase alcoholic drinks from participating restaurants and bars. Now they'll be using specific cups and then you'll be able to walk freely around the designated area. Now, since being approved by the state in 2015, several other cities throughout Northeast Ohio, including Shaker, Akron, and Canton, have already implemented their own doors and have seen success. And for those who work nearby, like Keith Hodgkins, he thinks this is just another opportunity to show off what Cleveland has to offer. Our office is right down the road, and we're really excited because I think this is something that Cleveland really needs. Other cities, I believe, have this, so it's going to allow more people to come down here and just mingle around and see part of it because it's beautiful. Now, if approved, the DORA would be established between Prospect and Euclid Avenues. Now, Cleveland City Council is expected to vote on the decision to bring the DORA to East 4th Street during tonight's meeting. And if it's approved, it will then go to the Liquor Control Division of Ohio's Department of Commerce. Coming up at 5, I'll tell you what some residents are concerned about. Jay? All right, very good. Thank you, Key. We appreciate it. Um, do we know yet the proposed hours of operation? I'm sorry. I thought do we, I, I thanked her too soon. Um, I, we... So if we have Key and she wants to answer that question, we certainly can. Do we know what, what hours this is proposed to, to be between? Yeah, we do, actually, Jay. It's going to be seven days a week, so that's Monday through Sunday from noon to 2 a.m. Wow. The whole day, to 2 basically. Yeah, basically, <laughs> uh, yeah, all day, almost every day. So basically, the only time you won't be able to is after 2 a.m. and before noon. So you'll have to have your mimosas elsewhere yeah. for Letty Mary's. Right. Key, thank you. Thanks now so I much, can thank Key. you. Um, I'll tell you, I spend a lot of time in Sandusky. That's my yeah. hometown. I'm there a lot in the summers. And they passed this in a couple of years ago, and it's worked marvelously. Really? And the people there love it. And it's good where there's a restaurant or a nightclub bar region okay. where you can go place to place to place, and you don't have to leave a drink that you've just paid for but only taken a little bit of. And it's a controlled area, too. Like, sure. it, especially in this case, there's no car traffic there well, on Well, that's 4th. the thing. It's, it's so a it's perfect spot for it because okay. really, you know, on the north end of 4th Street is like a driveway. And on the south end of 4th Street, it is the valet parking right. where you go in. So there's already the area where there's no traffic. So basically what would happen is they would take down the little tiny fences that partition patios. Yeah. And it just becomes you go anywhere. They'll put benches all over the place and picnic tables or Absolutely. whatever. Absolutely. And that make it. Fun. And really now it, be, it becomes much more of a festive feel. Sure. Where it's just like, it's kind of like the whole area is yeah. outdoor. You enjoy your drink and... I don't. I would imagine it's going to pass. I don't have any intel here, but I would. It did in Sandusky fairly easily, and it's been. It's worked very, very well. Makes so, so much sense. All right.